Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Skyrim. This is now version 4.0, as I just got a bunch more money. I've spent forever getting everything right and making sure everything works. So, uh, yeah, we'll go over a couple of them right now, but I'm not going to go over all of them. Uh, the first one you can see right in front of me that we're going to go over is the drinking water fountains. Yeah, but I don't have any... I can't really use them yet because I don't have any bottles or anything. And um, if I scroll back, you can see my armor is on my back which is a dual sheath redux mod, which is really annoying to get working, but I got it working. And uh, yeah, where is Lydia? Lydia, Lydia, Lydia. I got her some new armor. Ah, there she is. She's wearing her dragon bone, I mean dragon bone armor. And uh, yeah, she had some more enhancements. Um, yeah. Anyway, I also got a mature skin texture mod. You can kind of see it here. She's not completely smooth skin. Still a reflective, that's another mod. I have like, I have UNP and CBBE, but CBBE is my uh, main one because I have uh, mods that work around it. So. Wow. Okay. Anywho, a couple of the other mods that are kind of prevalent, let's go in the mod configuration, are the, is Frostfall, which is, uh, adds a whole nother, like, meaning to, you can basically die if, freezing from freezing to death and then a hunter born which is basically just a nice hunting mod um realistic needs is not really working well so i don't know if I'm, i may just disable it at some point but that's also something that's interesting but yeah so that was odd why did it i wasn't pressing shift i wasn't pressing tab so why did it do that anyway um so yeah so this is a Basically Skyrim 4.0 for me, and I think this is it in regards to mods. I think I'm fully modded out now. I've got like 130 mods. That's Lydia's horse. Ah, oh, there's my horse. Wait, I know you. Yeah, yeah, you do. And uh, by the way, this is just a disclaimer: don't use the Joy Perspectives mod because it broke my game. Um, thankfully, I still had everything from before. So that wasn't an issue, but when firing an arrow, instead of having this nice angle, it would have the cursor right in the center of the screen and with the horse. So I'd be basically aiming at my body, and I couldn't tell where the arrow was going. And it also broke the archery, uh, the actual archery, but anyway. So we're going to go do some more of the main missions, or main quest, because I have the, the uh, dragon blood. Um, which gives perks to level up because ever since the Legendary Edition showed up uh, which by the way is a great buy especially if it will go on sale during the Steam sale that would be a great buy because it includes all the DLC screwing the people that you know actually paid for everything but I got everything on sale anyway so it doesn't really matter and uh, anyway the, the new thing that you can do now is um, make your stats legendary so if I went into skills and find something about 100% like enchanting, I can hit space to make it legendary, and I'll get a little icon saying it's legendary, and I basically what happens is that this gets reset down to 15, and I get all of the points that I have, so now you can get beyond level 81, which is fine, and I may end up actually doing it if I just decide, you know what, I just want a bunch of points, um, but to me, it almost breaks the game too quickly, because like I could just do smithing and enchanting like forever, and I make a ton of cash while doing it, and, um, I just basically grind and I just do these two and I just do it like three times and get all, all the way up to legendary and I'll get up really high and to me that just kind of breaks the game a little bit so um, I'm not gonna do that but I think the dragon blood's a nice touch to it so uh, yeah so all we're gonna do is we're gonna do the main quest but I'm also probably gonna actually travel more um, I'm also gonna have to sleep on occasion and uh, we're going to be hunting as well. Oh, there's a bear up there. Okay. Okay. I could take it out from across the river. Actually, no. Not with this arrow. Let's use a different arrow, but not my good arrows. Sports and arrows are damaged 7. They're the weakest. I have a ton of I also have a ton of steel. Let's use the steel arrows. The thing is you're not as accurate. 
on a horse. I don't know if they designed it this way or what. Oh, that was right over his head. It's right there. Am I never going to hit this guy? That went right over him again. That went right below him. Come on. Okay, maybe it's just not telling me his... Uh... No, I am hitting him. I think I see blood. Maybe. Oh, well, I got plenty of arrows to waste. That was a mess. Okay, we're just going to go over there and actually do it that way. Um, let me make sure I'm using my soul sucker. No, I don't. I want to. I want to use my soul sucker. Just a fire breathing bow. Hello. Nope. No, you don't. Get back here. Ah. Come here. Ha, ha, ha. Beautiful. And I'll take the food because I, I may need to eat. Um, and I wanted to check. Um, oh, I did set the mod. I did set it up. Okay, so that's to access and to talk and this stuff, which is good. But I need to get off the horse. In order to properly use the Hunterborn mod. So we're going to field dress it. And then we're going to skin its pelt. So I get a rune pelt because I, I need you get experience by doing this. You don't just automatically get everything. But um, the good news to that is you know it's it adds some interesting features. And I, I tried to get rid of as much weight as possible. Um, you know what I ought to do because I'm not going to need. Let me check my mod actually. Mod configuration, convenient horses. Let's see. Um, I want consolidate talk loot and harvest. See, it's Q. Let's make this the fastest mount key. No. No. No, no. I want to talk on horseback, though. So, horse inventory will make. This, we'll just make a random key. Yeah. And I'll use that to do do do. Put stuff like uh, large animal bones and stuff in there. Okay, and hopefully I'll remember that. Anyway, we gotta go to our other kill. Which was... Up here, I believe. By up there, I mean down here. Alright. Yeah, it's right there. And I also got another mod, which is... Um, Glowing ore veins, which is also nice. Um, your command. Right, I need your woodcutter's axe, and I'll go ahead and just take both pickaxes real quick, cause I might I might make a guide for this, but I found out that it's actually much faster to do this, and if you use the uh, the shout to make your uh, attacks faster, it goes even faster. That took, you know, way Still less time. Here. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Yes, you are. 
You know, is the fa is that mod working? Because you're not supposed to say that like every time. And right, pickaxes. Do, do, do. Come here. Give, give. I am sworn. Uh, is that mod not working anymore? I'm right behind you. I am sworn to. Oh, it apparently isn't working anymore. I'll have to reinstall it. That is just not activated because I, I've had to reload a game and then reload an old save and come back. So it could just not be automated. Or not be installed correctly. And I forgot about the bloody deer. Field dress. Skin pelt. And harvest ingredients. And I realize this can get old really quickly, so. Yeah, there we go. You feel as though I am improving. Okay, and until I have a real need for, like, hides and stuff, I'll just put it on my horse. We got a saber tooth cat over there as well. Come on, come on, come on. I get wet. No, I didn't get wet at all. I'm going to get wet here in a second. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm soaking wet, I know. Alright, gotta shoot my weapon. Field dress. You know what, I just realized I may have to change that mod for it. Because I've changed it so many times, I don't know if, if I've got everything. No, no, it doesn't take any time. Okay, we're good. Skin pelt. Still poor, but I'm learning arse ingredients. I'm probably going to stop taking as much loot aside from stuff that's like really, really worth it. Anyway. There is a bear over here, if I'm not mistaken. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Thank you. Just take everything. Feel dress. Right. Must do that. Feel dress. My horse is fighting somebody. I'm not sure. Ingredients. I'm not going to butcher the meat because I already have plenty of meat. And I'm not sure that, like, the other stuff's working, but, uh, anywho. That's a mud crab, I think. What was that noise? I also have more sound mods in, so it's going to be kind of difficult to tell exactly what's going on when it's going on. Oh, that, is that the dripping? Is the water dripping off of me? I'm gonna get all wet again here. Okay, 
get up. Got salmon. You dumb. Nope. Nope, nope, get out of the water. <laughs> what if you dry off faster by riding your horse? I mean, that kind of makes sense. I can understand it upping your exposure, too. What? That was it on him, really? Yeah, that was it on him. Wow. Okay, field dress. I can't imagine me hunting too much after this initial little bit. I like I like the uh, effects that I have on it now. Um, that's also a mod. It's like fire, ice, and shock effects. I think that's just grass under the ground. I am wet. Well, thank you. Sun is radiant, so I'm assuming that I'm doing... Thinking horses making me worried. This place is just abundant with animals, isn't it? Oh my gosh! <gasps> he went flying! Nope, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Can I not do anything? Oh, I can field dress it from here? <laughs> oh well, I'm already kind of wet, so... This is amazing! <laughs> Where is it now? Oh, there it is. Oh, we got flies here. I should probably start this. I should probably dispose of these after I'm done using them. Animal bladder! Yes! That's what I wanted! It's like, what? Dispose. I think that is the sound of the water dropping off of me. That's pretty cool. Can I, uh, can I do the inventory? Oh, I can do the inventory from on the horse. Brilliant. Okay, that almost weighs nothing, so we'll just keep it on there. Store, store... Store. Store, store, store. Store, store, store. And store. Now then. The reason why I wanted that... Okay. Whatever you need. My spirit. Uh, okay. Good, good. I can afford. Okay, the quick dismount is apparently Wait. broken. I know you. What do you need, my friend? Yeah, hello. Hi. Um Let me go ahead and just Get rid of the quick dismount. Uh, it's probably because it's the same as the normal dismount. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's do a random key and just fast mount, fast mount all the time. Actually, let's just see if that works better. Okay. 
think I need to use the tanning rack. I'm damp, I know. I'm getting warmed up. Let's see, what's under miscellaneous? Or was it not even under this? Ah, oh, maybe it's not under this. Maybe I have to actually, like, craft craft it. Let's see, because there's so much stuff. Uh, that was under leather? Miscellaneous? See, I may want to get a cooking pot, actually. That's something I probably should look into. I've seen it. If it's not here though, it is got to be on the tanning rack. So why wasn't it here? Hide, nothing. Leather. Not there. Oh, it's right here. Bits of bone, leather and leather strips. Other bits of do I have bits of bone? Does my horse can I access it from here? No, I have to be up by my horse. No, I just have large animal bones and not bones. I don't know how to get bits of bones. Okay, whatever. Why is there random food in the street? You know, I'll take it, but. Just a wee bit weird. I see if my other mods working in here too. So these yeah, mods are all working. What do you need? That mod's working. Holy cow! Um, you know what? I did kind of buff the brightness a little bit. Actually, that might not even be that. It might be because I just reinstalled all the mods correctly. Good afternoon. You're that visitor been poking around. Wow, that next is a little bit annoying, but whatever. I'm the innkeeper. We don't get a lot of travelers here in Riverwood. Okay. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room. But you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. Still here. I know you I've are. Got your back. Let me I see. Command. Oh no, the mod is working. She's saying something different. Maybe it was just at the area. Let's get going, then. Wow, really? What is this? Yes. Um It's so good to see you again. Why are you naked? Me okay. Too. Until we next. got rooms in anyway. Drink too. I guess I should sleep for like an hour. Just take a nap. Cook. Ain't much else to tell. Um. Hmm. 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 Oh, this bed. Okay, well... Odd. So you're the Dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. Thea Galloway. We need to talk. Follow me. Seriously, put some clothes on. What the heck? I need to buy her some armor or something. No, you just take it. Okay. 
take, take. Now we can talk. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. Uh, they're I right, I am so, Dragonborn. But you'll forgive me if I don't assume that something's true just because the Greybeards say so. I just handed you the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Does that make me Dragonborn too? It was the only way I could make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. Better start explaining what fast. I want when I want, got it? You'd already be dead if I didn't like the look of you when you walked in here. But I had to know if the rumors uh -huh. about you were true. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you for a very long time. If you really are a dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. No, I'm just really strong. <laughs> we remember what most don't, that the Dragonborn is the ultimate dragon slayer. Well, her the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Good. And you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Okay. Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead. Killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life. And I need you to help me stop it. I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. So, where are we? Right, how'd you, you figure this out? You got the map for me from Bleak Falls Barrow. The Dragonstone was a map of ancient dragon burial sites. I've looked at which ones are now empty. The pattern is pretty clear. It seems to be spreading from the southeast, down in the Geralds near Riften. The one at Kynesgrove is next, if the pattern holds. Kynesgrove. There's an ancient dragon buried She just there. said that. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. I can't wait around for you to make up your mind. I'll meet you at Kynesgrove. Don't waste time getting there. Okay. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. We drink to our youth, today's come and gone. That's better. The age Let's get on the road to kind of is just about mm. done. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we know. With our blood and our steel, we will. Oh, it's a blade sword. Interesting. Down with Ulfric, Ordnar, the I'm traveling. You've got the inn till I get back. Right. Wait, are you Whitehead now? Greetings. Or maybe it was just the fire made her look blonde. Uh. Anywho, we're gonna travel with her, I think. You gonna bug it? Anyway, I'm gonna cut the video off here. So thank you all very much for watching, and God bless. We can travel together or split up and move there. Your choice.